what is up rural gamers and welcome to democratic republic of the congo versus congo oops there we go much better <laughs> uh sorry i had to fool you guys there for a bit uh sorry i'm stupid but anyways uh democratic republic of the congo versus congo first things first if you missed the stream i don't know why i was turned around on my chair i don't know i just felt like doing that because one it's dark you guys can't see me my whole room is dark so it's not noticeable and again the face cam hasn't been moved and i feel weird it feels like i've been turned around or something like that it just feels so weird when i have the face cam on the bottom left corner instead of the bottom right but then again mr peace guy you said that my face cam is being blocked because of my logo so that's why i moved it here but again i don't know it feels weird right there so you gotta get used to it but anyways as i was saying first things first i streamed actually for today it was supposed to be empire friday again that's the new thing new series that i'm trying to do on twitch but then again i kind of lost track got distracted with world annexation part 86 or something like that i continued that i annexed papua new guinea big deal but the big thing was as i recalled i was going to eliminate japan and complete world annexation by around may well uh, I made a backup save just in case the game did crash with all the air units that I have. I had like roughly 20,000 air units, I think, but I only used like around eight to 10,000 against Japan, and I'm still using them against Japan. Yes, I have invaded Japan, and I did post a photo, but that was only on Patreon. Let me turn this on, actually. It's too dark for you guys. There we go, my second monitor there. That helps. Oh my gosh, I look pale, but that's because I'm, well, that's my skin color. Dang, dude, it's... It's blossoming. Holy crap, dude. I'm glowing. Holy crap. I'm radiating. Feels so good. All right. Anyways, uh, uh, yes, I posted a photo exclusively only to my patron supporters to see. Again, you guys, if you want to see stuff like that, exclusive stuff, ugh, exclusive things, exclusive photos, contests, uh, polls, posts, you name it. And of course, your... What is it? Your versus, your let's plays move to the top of the queue, which is by far the most important. And among other things, again, you guys can always check that out. Uh, my Patreon supporters get got to see it first. But I did post a photo on, uh, <laughs> on all my air units bombing Japan. And it was literally the land of the rising fire instead of the land of the rising sun. So I'm going to be making a highlight of World Annexation Part 86 and uploading it either tomorrow or sunday let's just say the weekend uh per se and uh if you missed the stream there's a link below to my twitch just in case you missed it but uh kind of got distracted with that let's play because a lot of people have been telling me where is part 86 when is world annexation going to come etc cetera, etc cetera. well i finally streamed it instead of empire friday so empire fridays is next week and again guys just hit me up leave some comments direct messages whatever if you want to show me your empires on Supreme Ruler, Hearts of Iron, or Europa, or any other RTS game, just broadcast it through Steam. I'll start broadcasting through Twitch, and then me, you, every other Edible Gamer that wants to see the empire that you've created in your save. Much appreciated. Going to be a lot of fun, guys. So, again, Empire Fridays next week, since we all kind of got distracted with, with World Annexation Part 86. Alright, so Democratic Republic of the Congo versus Congo, Republic of Congo. I wanted to go back to Africa again and uh Polis Police. I know that you said something, I think that's how you said your name. Sorry if I uh kind of mispronounce it or misled it or something like that. Mispronounce it, whatever. Uh you did say Angola. I haven't played as Angola, but then I kinda just went up north a little. <laughs> kinda got off track there and I decided to go with the Democratic Republic of Congo instead. Uh I don't know why but Congo has a large population and I never got any recognition or I haven't shown any recognition to both Congo. So you know what? Might as well do a versus. And then again, I still want to do a bunch of versus for Africa and the rest of the world and continue Let's Plays and do mods and stream. You guys know this. I'm backed up. Let's just say I'm backed up right now. My schedule is backed up. But again, I have to just make way and do what I can. Make do with what I can. So without further ado, let's just get the show on the road against Congo. 
I've got my units here, a total of 37 land units. I, st I still have like a few militias over there just coming, but they're not gonna make it. Three aircraft, two fighter jets, one helicopter, and then last but not least, six patrol ships. Congo's already deploying their military, by the way. So let's see what the DR Congo can do. Again, light infantry, modern infantry, some obsolete tanks, old designs. That's about it for uh, DR Congo and probably the other Congo as well. Not a lot of units. And uh, we also got a, spin on a special announcement. I did announce it on Twitch, but uh, I think I might just do a separate announcement. I wanted to bring the announcement on here, but uh, as I've said before, t-shirts and other merchandise. That is the announcement, but I'll do a separate video of that. Yes, guys, I'm trying to uh, bring merchandise to Edible Gaming. It's about time, 2018, right? So, I'm going to have to start designing some logos or, uh, yeah, logos, text for the shirt, sizes, color, whatever. You guys can help as well, but again, that's going to be on a separate announcement video probably next week because uh, I want to start making shirts and selling them for cheap, by the way, for cheap. And uh, <laughs> it's going to be my first time trying to sell shirts or any type of merchandise to you guys, Edible Gamers. I don't know how that's going to work, but I'm going to make it work if I can or not. I mean, I did try to make stickers a long time ago, three years ago, actually. And I showed this on stream, but it didn't come out well, as you can see. Uh, the British Edible Gaming. I know, bad, low quality, three years ago. Low quality, bad text, uh, bland. The German one. Well, it's kind of my favorite, but still, low quality. Why black text? I have no idea. Don't ask me. My brother and I designed it. Well, he mostly made it. But again, eh. The Israeli one, and last but not least, the American one. The U.S. flag. Again, that black text just doesn't fit with the, uh, the U.S. flag there, so... I don't know. And then I had a Russian one as well, but that one's long gone. I don't know what happened to the Russian one. But, you know... Hey, that's the first try. We're trying to do something specifically as merchandise you know but i want to try to focus more on t-shirts apparel and uh i went to teespring created account there so that's what i'm going to use and it says i could create other stuff as well again more stickers coffee mugs even socks uh etc etc but again i'm going to focus more on the t-shirt side so again guys separate announcement video next week if you guys have any suggestions any logo creations anything just leave it a leave a comment or something and uh they've got six garrisons over there for what when that happened what the fudge Alrighty then um they've got six garrisons in their fabrication what, what? why i also got to be careful with the angola we don't have good relations by the way and speaking of which back to uh, uganda i completely forgot to uh put the original leader the original avatar of Uganda but I'm too lazy to do that so I'm gonna leave it as the Uganda knuckles there for Uganda and uh, do have a non-aggression pack don't want them to attack on my eastern side here but I left the Uganda knuckles there dead meme I know that was the meme of January if you ask me but I'm just gonna leave him there because <laughs> he always will know the way rest in peace Uganda knuckles you will live on in Supreme Ruler Uganda. <laughs> Speaking of which, I do have a co-worker from Uganda as well. How about that? And he's a funny guy. A very funny guy. Interesting guy. And he works really hard and is one of the best workers if you ask me. Specifically, trying to unload those large bed trucks. Those huge semi-trailers, I think. That's the, uh, that's the best thing. I can't do that. <laughs> All right, so we're attack fabrication, but again, not a lot of supplies here. Ammunition. I have to back up here, keep going, whatnot. I'm gonna set my air units over here. Kind of forgot about my navy. Do they have a navy? They got a seaport over there, though. But I already took Brazzaville, their capital city, in an instant. I just routed their units and destroyed all the garrisons. Again. Uh, the DR Congo has a slightly more larger military. It's equal in size, but I still have a larger, more mili uh, larger military. And then uh, Republic of Congo, 76,000 
for myself. 25 unit kills, two unit losses. Where's the other Congo at? I can just do this. 5,000. Well, they probably had, let's just say roughly 20,000 maybe. When I started, like 50 to 60,000. So, you guys can figure that out in your heads. Slightly more larger military for myself, the DR Congo. But hey, just wanted to upload a Congolese versus bring that into it, World Gaming. So, to my Congolese viewers, here you go. I could just colonize Congo if I want. Boom. Democratic Republic of Congo. <laughs> DR Congo Congo. Congo Congo. What a nice name. Alright, cool. So, um, again, if you missed the stream, there's a link below. MLS Fantasy. I don't roll soccer. Week 2 begins tomorrow, by the way. So, hopefully, I can get into the top three. Got to change a few players here and there, actually. Um, World Annexation Part 86 will be a pre recorded stream made into a highlight for YouTube on the weekends. Um, again, you guys can support me on Patreon and whatnot if you want. And uh, merch coming soon. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time.